Hi, my name is Shane. Thanks for hanging out today. I have a couple of Earthworks mics to test out on drum set. I have the SR25 and the TC20. I'm going to uh, put those on bass drum, snare drum, and overhead in different combinations. I will put up on the screen what I'm using so you know what's going on. Uh, I might also fill in with some Shure mics. I have a Beta 52 for the kick and a 57 for the snare. Uh, two different kits I'm going to be trying today. One is the Yamaha Stage Custom Birch Bop Sizes 18-inch kick, 12-inch rack, 14-inch floor with a uh, Dave Weckl snare. The other kit is a Ludwig Standard from the 70s. That's a 22-inch kick, 12-inch rack, and a 16-inch floor tom. And with that, I will use my Yamaha Copper Nouveau snare drum. So check it out. Earthworks mics, different combinations. Uh, hopefully you hear something you like. I have switched the mics now. The TC20 is on overhead, the SR25 on the front of the bass drum. Uh, that bass drum head is solid, uh, so the microphone is just right on the front head. Uh, also, these are condenser mics, so they're super hot when placed near a drum, uh, so I had to pad that. Um, there's no built-in pad on the Zoom R20, which is you know pretty disappointing. I have an inline pad from Sure to take care of that. Uh, so the TC20 is actually built to handle a lot higher noise level before distortion. Uh, so I bought it for the front bass drum head, but I'm going to try it in this configuration as well. So check it out. We are now on to the rock pop kit, the Ludwig Standards, um, and I've added a bass drum mic that is a Shure Beta 52, and that is inside the kick, uh, and right now I have the TC20 on the front head of the kick, uh, that's ported obviously, uh, and the SR25 on overhead, so check this out. I have switched the two bass drum mics. I now have the TC20 inside and the Shure Beta 52 outside. Uh, it seems really odd to me, um, a condenser inside the bass drum uh, that has a small diaphragm, um, but from a lot of the tips I'm reading, the TC20 can definitely handle being inside the bass drum. Uh, so let's try it out, see how that sounds.
I have switched the earthworks around. I now have the SR25 on the front of the kick and the TC20 overhead. And again, the Beta 52 inside the kick. Uh, while I think it could handle it, I'm not gonna try the earthworks SR25 inside the kick. Uh, it doesn't have the capability to handle you know, super loud noises like the TC20 does. I am now going to try these Earthworks mics out on the snare drum. I'm going to start with the TC20 on the snare drum that has, uh, you know, the loud sound capability. Uh, and the SR25 is on the overhead. And I have the Beta 52 inside the kick. So there's nothing on the front of the kick for this one. The last setup I'm going to show you today is my ideal setup that I had in mind when I bought these Earthworks mics. I have the SR25 on overhead uh, and the TC20 on the front of the bass drum. Uh, then there is the uh, Shure Beta 52 inside the bass drum, the Shure 57 on the snare, uh, and then on the toms I have Electro Voice ND408As. Um, this is kind of the recording setup that I'm going to use uh, in the future for all my YouTube stuff. Um, and you know, keep in mind, I am not a you know recording engineer. I don't have a ton of knowledge in this area. Um, you know, I can read on the internet. I can you know figure things out. Um, but this is the kind of a you know a home sound. I definitely wouldn't use this you know on a full production. Uh, everything is going through the Zoom R20, uh, which is really convenient. You know, but it does have its limitations. I'm not sure you know about the pre mics in there or anything. Uh, so you might be able to get a way better sound out of these Earthworks mics. You know, with some more expensive equipment down the line. Uh, once again, I'm Shane. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, thanks for checking out all my videos. Uh, if you want to see some more tests of these Earthworks mics, uh, you know, I've got some more percussion equipment, some congas, timbales, djembes. Uh, you know, leave down in the comments if you'd like to hear any of that stuff. Uh, I'm going to try the uh, Glenn Johns technique at some point, uh, and I'd eventually like to have a pair of these SR25s for overhead, although I don't mind the mono overhead sound at all. It's, it's uh, very nice. So check it out.